I'm Samir Mather, an allergist practicing at the University of Wisconsin Hospital in Madison, Wisconsin, the United States. I was asked to provide some guidance on the use of biologics in severe asthma during the COVID-19 pandemic. Epidemiological data to date are encouraging that asthma or atopy are not notable risk factors for COVID-related hospitalizations or ICU level care. We are currently following general guidance to optimize control of asthma to reduce the chances of exacerbations due to COVID, other respiratory viruses, or allergen exposures, especially as we are heading into the spring allergy and viral season. Prevention of exacerbations is important for the patient to reduce their chances of COVID exposure within the healthcare setting, and for our hospital colleagues to reduce a potential emergency room visit or hospitalization at a time when healthcare resources are strained. For our severe asthmatics, optimizing their control includes continuation or even initiation of biologic therapy. Many healthcare institutions, including ours, have eliminated non-essential care in order to reduce traffic into the healthcare setting. Many of our patients are already self-administering biologics at home. However, many other patients are still receiving their biologic therapy in the clinic setting. In weighing the risks and benefits, we are currently continuing clinic administration of biologics with our clinic staff using personal protective equipment and the patients wearing a mask. Thus far, only one of our patients on biologic therapy has been diagnosed with COVID infection and fortunately had a benign course not requiring hospitalization. In this scenario of a COVID diagnosis, we are recommending that biologic therapy be continued with the hope that the potential need for broader immunosuppression with corticosteroids could be minimized as the use of corticosteroids has been associated with poorer outcomes with COVID infections. In summary, I'm recommending continuing optimized care of severe asthma with the use of biologics and minimizing potential COVID exposure within the healthcare setting during this COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you.